Alright, there are numerous unique things that can actually be controversial about Vietnam. And we have always been excited to share these things with you. Here are our top 10 first impressions about Vietnam that blow our mind away as a foreigner. These are things that we think are going to put you in shock and might amaze you about Vietnam. You know, after traveling a bunch of countries in Southeast Asia, I was still actually very surprised to see as many smokers as I did in Vietnam. Especially this gigantic bamboo pipe that they smoke, and you will see them smoking a lot on the roadside next to restaurants in Northern Vietnam. I was very shocked, I was like, whoa, what are they doing with that on the side of the road? It's I had really never, rambling, so I had like never seen it before. They say that when you smoke this pipe, it actually helps with digestion. <laughs> I'm not too sure about that. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> so one thing we've noticed that people there love smoking and drinking green tea at the same time. Um, <laughs> green tea helps with digestion, so why not pair it with this? magical tobacco that, that also helps, that helps with digestion as well. as well. So helmets in Vietnam are like very cute and small it's and like cute looking. super unique. They look identical to a baseball cap. Mm -hmm, exactly. Most of the helmets are like pretty big, cover your ears, yeah, but yeah, these yeah. literally have like visors like baseball caps and then they even have ponytail slots in the back yeah, 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 for, for females. Yeah. Yeah, it's very crazy. These baseball style helmets seem to be very popular among the youngsters. As a first timer in Vietnam, you might come up with the question like, is it really serious? Can this really protect you from an accident? Some said it's just for the purpose to avoid police. Speaking of a helmet, let's talk a little bit about traffic conditions that you can somehow get your mind blown just by the number of motorcycles in Vietnam. And this is no joke. And yeah, this is no joke at all. They honk all the time. But anyway, this is the way that they communicate to each other. Kind of like give the warning that, okay, I'm coming this way, you gotta be careful. Yeah, it's just like in Bali. We just did a video on Bali. Um, so if you wanna check that out, you can check that out, but. Do you notice that they also honk with the with some rhythm? Some honk like that, some honk like that. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like SOS. I I have no clue. We have no clue. Like yeah, I don't know the language. Probably there is the some honking language. yeah. Probably there is some honking language among Vietnamese that they know. Like they know. If you know a honking language, <laughs> let me know below because I would like to learn it for the next trip. Because we actually really thinking about going back to Vietnam, but this time Very want soon. to go to Saigon. Yeah. Mm hmm Next one, I know that we can't we can't judge the books by the covers, but this one is worth sharing. This is my personal thought on the characteristic of Vietnamese in general. So here's what happened. We notice a lot of South Korean influence among youngster here. Yeah, it was like very noticeable when we got there because you know we met in South Korea, so it was very noticeable that they have the same style, like the way they do their hair and makeup. Mm -hmm. This kind of like they call it as a Korean wave, uh, something that you get influence from South Korea. It's actually widespread including Thailand where I'm from as well but I didn't really expect to see this as well in Vietnam I thought no, it's only I didn't either I thought it's only Thailand especially when it comes to girls they tend to have uh, light natural beauty makeup style since we have been in Vietnam we have never actually seen the girls that do pretty heavy makeup like most American girls yeah most American girls do heavy makeup in my opinion but in Vietnam, not like that. Plus, I do also think that a lot of Vietnamese girl has really good skin. A lot of Vietnamese, they look really young. We went to the restaurant when we arrived Hoi An first time. And for this restaurant, to me, look at the menu, and then this is what happened. And, you know, I was like, oh, maybe we'll get some water. And I asked her, I was like, you know, how much is aqua? Aqua's 15,000, beer's 20,000. Of course I'm gonna get the beer now. It's just as expensive as the water. You gotta get the beer. And 
That's why they say beer consumption in the country is going up every year. Fun fact, in 2013, Vietnam was number one in Southeast Asia for beer consumption per capita. It beat South Korea. Oh, Southeast Asia, baby. Not, not East Asia. Uh, <laughs> my bad. Cut. Cut. I don't know if you have heard of beer hoi. Like, you never know what you're gonna get. Some is like super strong. Some are not so strong. But that is because of the way they make it, the way they brew it. Yeah. It's like very traditional, right? Yeah, and like even some of the hostels or homestays, they, they give you free beer hoy because beer hoy is so affordable that like from say five o'clock till like seven o'clock, you can mm -hmm. get free beer. Mm -hmm. They say it's the cheapest beer in the world. The world. I'm not sure if you can find a beer that is cheaper than this. But if you happen to find a beer that is cheaper than this, let's help out the community. Share with us where you find a cheap beer. Yeah, because I will book my ticket next. <laughs> it can probably help a lot of people here who are watching the video and scroll down through the comment to try I to find I do love out. very good beer, but I also am a budget traveler. Beer hoi is not And bad, you do though. not have to be rich to travel. That's why we drink 10 cent beers. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to be rich to party well. No. That is exactly what happened in Hanoi, Vietnam. Another thing that we think is kind of like really interesting about drinking culture in Vietnam, kind of like the first impression that we got here. Also, if you are asked to go out and drink beer with the locals, most it's of the time... going to involve food. You're going to go to dinner or get something to eat. Mm -hmm. And make you want to drink even more. <laughs> <laughs> Eat the more. wings. It's like Taz heaven. Chicken wings and beer. They also have the frog legs. Yeah. Drinking together with beer. Vietnam, this is one thing that kind of like similar to South Korea in my opinion. They have a lot of foods that pair with that beer. That pair with beer. Yeah, exactly. Come down. Boy. Seems like a lot of Vietnamese love shouting. You will see a lot of people. Ah. This actually a couple of times kind of like scares away <laughs> from I mean, them. when somebody's shouting at me, I'm just like, uh... Not even like shout at you, but for example, when we see just like... shouting in general. Shouting at each other. And we and were just trying to go to a restaurant that mm -hmm. we couldn't find. <laughs> yeah, we basically look up in, the, in Google for some specific restaurant that people recommend there in TripAdvisor. And we, it's really hard to find. Yeah, it was restaurant. actually very, very difficult. It was like really secluded down a back alleyway. Yeah, so we want to actually go to her and ask her for the direction. And then we will like look at each other, kind of like, like uh, giving the signal that shall we okay. leave. <laughs> We were like, <laughs> look at each other like, we shall try to find the other Vietnamese to ask for the direction. Somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, but even though they shout, it doesn't mean that they are mean at all. So what surprised us a lot is that after she finished shouting or yelling to the other Vietnamese and then she turned back and then she gave a really big smile yeah. to us. Like, really friendly smile. So instead of going away... It goes from this to... to this. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, that was a pretty quick change. <laughs> they might speak a very little bit loudly, but they are very nice people. They are really friendly. It seems like in Vietnam, a lot of their foods rely on fresh vegetables and fresh herbs. Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me of South Korea for some places. They bring us unlimited baskets of vegetables. The vegetable game is real. For some food that might not contain vegetables, but you will see that they decorate the top of the food that looks like this. Fun fact, Vietnamese food is considered one of the healthiest cuisines in the world. And to go with food, the size of the dining tables and chairs are super small. Very tiny. They're like knee level and like toddler size. No offense, you know, my best friends, but if I was a bigger guy, I wouldn't be able to fit in these chairs. Even I like almost Yeah, even Thai can barely fit. If you walk around Vietnam in the morning you will see a lot of Vietnamese girl love wearing this kind of hat. They call it as the conical hat. It's very, very unique. And they call it as the non la. Correct me if I pronounce it wrong. So this is considered to be one of Vietnam's specialty. Vietnam is actually a tropical country where it is rainy and sunny all year. So 
Vietnamese people create this kind of conical hat to actually help farmer work in the field. We can see farmers in the countryside wear conical hats. People in the city also wear them. Tourists wear them. Either old generation or young generation. Everyone wears them. Everybody wears them. And this is the charming part of Vietnam because it seems like they can actually keep the tradition going. If you walk around Hoi An, Vietnam, for example, in the aspect of like they can keep the tradition very well. You will not really say the change at all. A lot of locals say that Hoi An Old Town holds the culture very well. Holds true. the culture very well. It doesn't really change. Besides, adding number of restaurants or cafe yeah. or like tailor shops. You can see a lot of Chinese influence in Vietnam, especially on the architecture, which you can see that reflects a lot on the temples, because originally the culture of Vietnam is. Originated from an ancient Bayou kingdom in East Asia, but due to the millennium of Chinese rule, Vietnam was heavily and remarkably influenced by Chinese culture in terms of politics, government, social and moral ethics, and even art. Fun fact: Vietnam is considered to be a part of East Asia cultural sphere. Let us know in the comments below if you feel like these 11 things we share with you blow your mind away as well. We hope this video is helpful for you in managing your expectation on what you might see and encounter in Vietnam. By no means do we want to criticize the country. We are here basically to share the experience we have with you, and we do believe that once in a lifetime you should definitely visit this country. It has everything from food, culture, people, scenery. It is also very charming. Thank you so much for watching, and if you guys plan on taking a trip to Vietnam, Make sure you check out below. It has travel tips, how to save money, how to get from the airport, and even things to pack. And it is completely free at divertliving.com. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up and subscribe. We uh, we got a lot coming up, and we uh, continue to try and push as much as many videos as we possibly can. We're gonna try this whole daily vlogging thing. I mean, almost every day. Thank you.